everyone, it is Susie, and I hope everybody is doing fantastic. Um, I have some really fun journals to share. Um, I had mentioned a week ago about having the new Tim Holtz, and I couldn't wait. I went ahead and played with some of the new um, new pieces from the um, uh, his new Halloween collection. Then I have a little bee journal. This is the bee journal that I've been working on. Um, that was using some of the things that I got from your creative studio, especially using the stamps that she had sent. Um, also, this was in the subscription box this time, the little bee uh, metal piece here. And so I used that as well. But anyway, that is the bee journal finally finished. I'm going to go with my little Halloween one first. Uh, this was just fun. I just had a good time playing with it. Um, but uh, anyway, this uh, was, I was so excited to actually do this because of it being the new Tim Holtz stuff. And I was so uh, happy to find that at Joann's. Now, not all Joann's had them out because I was at the lake. And uh, the Joann's there did not have any of the new Halloween stuff. But I was in Springfield the week before that, and um, they had all the new uh, Halloween stuff at that Joann. So I guess really it just depends where you're at. But anyway, here is the new label, uh, label tape that is so fun that I have used. I've got Beware, and I've got Halloween. Um, this is in his little ephemera pack, and of course the little the little uh, images there. But uh, here is one of those little Tundex cards that uh, Donna Little had sent me. Now I will put her description or her uh, link to her YouTube channel there in the description box. Uh, she just sells through her YouTube channel. I believe she said she had a playlist. If you'll go there. And you can find the things and see if she still has them for sale. So um, this is one of those. And what I did was I really just made a little booklet um, out of it. I love these little Tundex cards. They are so fun. Um, I plan to work with them a little bit uh, here in the next few months. Uh, here is just a lace pocket. This here is just a collage on a, like a number 10 envelope, uh, glassine envelope. This is vintage, a vintage envelope. Um, I found some and I didn't get to buy very many, but they're already yellowed and aged. Use some of that label tape here, as you can see, and just did the collaging. And on the inside, I did put a little book and just a little journaling journaling book here but I love 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 this envelope it is already yellowed from age and I love that oh and the um, uh, the coffee dyeing with the uh, coffee beans oh my goodness the paper smells fantastic um, I never get that that aroma from coffee grounds ever uh, but I did have to boil the beans for probably over an hour before it really got color and uh, the beans kind of sank to the bottom uh, they all stayed on top and then they slowly just kind of sank I guess as they got uh, more uh, I don't know what you'll call it boiled or cooked and uh, but the smell was wonderful and my paper still smells beautifully uh, let me grab a I didn't do very many sheets I did use a pound of coffee beans but this is kind of what uh, the uh, color came out like it's not a real dark color and I just used various uh, uh, rows of uh, of the uh, coffee but this is some little graph paper I used there but you can kind of see the color but I love it but the smell is just wonderful it smells so good um, but anyway I'll probably doing uh, doing another batch of those sometime with the uh, 
coffee beans just just because I like the way it it uh, left the smell of the paper it's just wonderful uh, so anyway getting back to the journal this is the new little Tim Holtz um, sticker book kind of but it has these little masquerade um, glasses I guess you want to call them and I put them on uh, the little sticker that they had I had seen somebody and I don't remember if it was Instagram I believe it was Instagram because I think it was Shabby Soul that had actually put them on a paper doll even and it was so cute so uh, anyway those are fun and I just got some collaging here um, that I have done I added a little masking tape just because I wanted it to be kind of a a junky little uh, grungy journal. This is actually some Graphic 45 uh, paper there. And of course I just pretty much just did collaging in this. And here is a nice little collage on a glassing bag. A little booklet. Just some different sized papers there. Use some of the uh, vintage prescription um, our pharmacy uh, prescription uh, sheets there. I do have those in the shop still. Here's just a long um, uh, little uh, glassine uh, bag. Um, I actually had some gifted to me and I love the size so I ordered some and I do have these in the shop. They are like a two and a half by five or something um, to that. Uh, wrong side of the ruler there. Uh, yeah, about a five and a fourth. A uh, three by five and a fourth. And they're really a fun size. But I uh, made a long tag with a couple of little just uh, papers you could flip up and... and uh, journal on because I need I wanted a really long tag for this and then I have just a little trifold journaling uh, paper that fits in this little bag here oops there we go And then, of course, this is from the Tim Holtz Ephemera Halloween Ephemera Pack. This here, I just, because I'd used a couple of those time cards, I'd actually thought about using this for the spine, and then I didn't, so I just did a little collage on it. I thought it'd be fun as a bookmark uh, for the journal, maybe. And then here is the same thing. I took one of the little, the little sticker things, and I added the little masquerade glasses there. And here is another little glassing envelope with another little booklet. And I actually made the paper a little longer than the glassing bag so it would overhang. And uh, here is another, just another fun collage. Looks like I can see a little bit of glue. I need to get me a little wet wipe and clean them up. Uh, another couple of the tags there and there's another little collage same way I just used some masking tape and kind of played with that and then I have a little booklet in the back just uh, get a little stitching little collaging so there is that, and it's just a fun, fun, chunky little, little journal. The uh, only thing that about this is my spine, for some reason I wanted it to roll, and it did not roll on that front like it did the back. So it's a little different there, but, but for a junky journal, I mean, it just kind of fits the bill there. So, Okay, so this is my little bee journal. This was really fun. I just put a little fabric, uh, coffee dyed. Uh, um, I did put a couple of tea bags in those coffee beans. 
uh, I just used, I think it was two of the gallon size tea bags with my pound of coffee beans um, when I uh, did that, just to see if I could give it that little bit of more brown color. Uh, but uh, anyway, this is the Bee Journal. I did uh, put a little Maj Paj on this. I tried to curl up the edges. I did not want them stuck down. I wanted them to be a little curled up. There is the spine. And I didn't uh, put anything on the back. So uh, here is that little, um, um, I'm not sure what you want to call it, little metal. It's not really a charm, but but a little metal piece here. And all I did was just wrap it around the button. It does not tie the the journal clothes. I just could not get it get it to look good by tying it around one button. It just didn't. So I just left it like that. Here is um, now in this I did use uh, Ode to the Bee by Nick the Booksmith, which is the majority of the paper. I did use some papers from My Porch Prints. And then another one, I used some library cards. Oh gosh, I bet I have put it away. Um, I believe it was uh, Ava Art or Avart. But anyway, I will put that in the description box. Uh, some little library cards that I used. But these here are Nick the Booksmith. Um, I used some Tim Holtz rub-ons there. I just made a little booklet. Some of this has some uh, of the stickers and stuff from the Your Creative Studio uh, box. That was such a great box this last time. It was themed about the bee. That's another one of the little stickers there. And I've just added some little little uh, journaling papers in there. Anyway, just a little book to journal in and it sits in that front pocket. Uh, all This is three signatures. This is a pretty pretty good sized book actually. Um, it is about an eight and a half by about five, five and a half maybe, eight and a half by five and a half, with the cover being just a little bit bigger. Uh, my Halloween journal, I'll go ahead and measure it while I'm while I'm just here. It is about a oh about a four, I'd say four and a half by nine and a fourth. It's about what it is. But I just did some stitching, um, just some sloppy stitching there. Some more Tim Holtz rub-ons. Did a little die cutting, a uh, die cutting, fussy cutting of some bees. Um, and just kind of glued them on the page. Had a lot of quotes um, um, on uh, Nick's um, uh, papers. This is just a, a, a little place I went and um, copied that off. I believe it was the front of a book from, um, I don't know, it'd be the early 1900s or maybe the late 1800s. Here is uh, My Porch Prints. That is just one of her little uh, uh, printables there. It was a bee-themed kit. And then I've just kind of cut this out, stitched around it, uh, glued it to the page. This will have lots of journaling um, spaces in it. This is, uh, of course, Nick the Booksmith's little print printable and then here are some of those song decks cards or tune decks cards uh, from Donna and of course the stamps are from your creative studio um, that was the B stamps I tried to use most of them um, I didn't get them all used but I tried to use uh, a good majority of them and then the center of the signature I put a little place for a pocket um, I don't have anything in this, but it'd be great for receipts or uh, whatever it is you kind of want to put in there. And of course, just did some of my little uh, sewn fragments there. Um, this is my porch prints. 
little uh, piece there. And this is the uh, library cards I was talking about that come from that uh, AB Art. Or, uh, like I said, I, I had a, a set in there and I have cleaned up my table and, and put it away. But just made a little flip there. But I will put that in the description box where those can be found, these little library cards uh, that have the bees on them, or bee themed. And uh, this is really pretty. I really love this image here. That's my porch prints. I just collaged it with a little piece there. And here is some of the uh, paper from the uh, subscription box. And it's just a little journaling paper there. Little Timmy Holtz rub-ons there. And that is the first signature. And each signature I have started it uh, with this uh, paper right here. So I just thought it was a fun, a fun paper and wanted to um, just start each signature with it. Uh, here is like a little uh, where you can keep a record of your uh, bees. And uh, here is just another quote uh, from the paper there from Nick's Ode to the Bee. And then I have, this is My Porch Prints here. It's just a little, like a little policy coin envelope or something there. And then here is a little place I thought would be fun to journal on the back and then I did add a little a little uh, number rub on there I thought that was fun and then here is some more of Nick's paper um, here is another one of the library cards and there is another song dex with the uh, with the stamps on it. That one there, I've got "Be Kind" on it. Um, here is a pocket. This is from my porch prints here, and I took it. And these are empty. I left them in case um, someone would want to put receipts or something in those. This was dyed uh, with my little coffee bean uh, and tea mixture right there. I love the color that it made the glassines. And anyway, they just set in the pocket. I did um, use some little Tim Holtz rub-ons there. Yeah, I love the color it uh, had the uh, glassines, uh, how they came out. And then here is another little pocket uh, here. And I will probably tie a little lace like I did the first one. I just, I must have forgot. I don't think I did either envelope with it. Uh, this is um, from uh, My Porch Prints as well. Um, I just had these kind of uh, stuck together here. Um, this is just a little journaling card. This was a My Porch Prints envelope um, and I added just a little uh, journaling book there out of the graph paper. There we go. And that just it's in there like that. And this paper is from um, NYX as well, the Ode to the Bee. I just printed on both sides of the paper there. This here is another one of the little library cards. And then this I just flapped over the page. Just be a nice little journaling nice little journaling paper there and then here's another little flip up another quote here um, this is just a little definition of honey 
and that is the second signature and you can see I left these uh, paper I use that purposely I'm hoping I wouldn't have too much trouble getting it through the printer but it did just fine I wanted it to be a little raggedy um, here is just I use those stamps as well this is just some vintage poultry eggs and butter um, sales receipts I have those in the shop uh, usually there's a yellow one behind it but I didn't use the yellow I just used the two white receipts I love those and then these are some just little journaling little journaling um, papers just a little trifold there And here is just a kind of a messy collage. After I had all this collage in here, I thought, well, it really didn't fit the book, but but it's okay. I I like it. I probably should have stamped a B or something on it, but it was already so busy. I just kind of left it alone. And here is another little uh, pocket. It is the center of the signature so it has the strings hiding in there and uh, once again I will uh, add a little piece of that narrow lace there and another little definition of honey there another little flip and just some of that crinkly paper and I've stitched around and sewed this sewed this on. Here is a little uh, one of those mini CDs that are so fun but I just left it empty for someone to put a photo or something in there. This is just draped over the page. Just another little quote there. And the papers are various sizes. They're not all the same size. Here I've just stitched that onto a page. And then here I've got just a, another one of the Tune Dex cards I have um, uh, stamped on. And then another little uh, piece from the My Porch Prints. It says D Journal. I just kind of stitched around it. And, and here is the back lots and lots of places for journaling this is just a little tag uh, this is just a little uh, booklet it's kind of like a little almost like a little trifold there and there is the journal so um, anyway guys I hope that you enjoyed that I was really happy to get the bee journal done um, but uh, I had been working on it for several weeks so Anyway, there is um, the journals, guys, and I thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Have a great day, guys.